Hello, Carrie here. Today I'm going to be making a book, an everyday book for my friend. Um, I've got the papers together that I'm, I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in a variety of papers. Um, a lot of writing, uh, this uh, squared paper, some cartridge paper, some watercolour paper and some mixed media paper and maybe some other bits and bobs as well. So I've got a variety of papers here that um, I usually call on for this sort of thing and I'm just uh, trimming them to size. They The size is A5 which is half an A4 which is roughly half a letter if you're in America. And so I've sped this up um, because it would have been a bit tedious for you to watch all of it. But I don't want to miss it, anything out really. I thought you would like to see the whole process. I think that's the cartridge paper going in now. More squared paper. I've got different size square paper as well. So I think she'll enjoy drawing on that as well and doodling. And you can write on it as well. So now I'm doing the heavier watercolour paper. Oh no, that's the mixed media paper. That's good stuff that is, you can do absolutely anything to it. And here's some um, brighter watercolour paper. And then I'm going to put in some coloured pages just because I have them and they're good fun. I think that'd be nice. So I'm just tidying those up and I'm going to pop those in as well. I've also got some scrapbooking paper which I'm going to pop in too. I don't know if she'll be able to use it, but she could write on the back if nothing else. Or she could take it out and do something else with it. And now I'm going to uh, cut up the dividers. Um, seven dividers fit into the A5. So I'm just cutting those seven down to size. They're all pretty rainbow colours, which I think she'll like. I want the whole theme to be cheerful. She's having a bit of a sad time at the moment, so... Um, I really would like this to um, lift her spirits. Nearly there. So now I'm going to sort everything out into these little piles. And now I'm going to punch the holes. Those are the discs I'm using on the right hand side. It's the larger size to accommodate many pages because she may want to add more pages in as time goes on. So I'm just marking where I want to line up to with the masking tape and then I just punch away. My sister is on the right of me chatting to me as I'm doing this so it's not tedious at all. You can only put a uh, maximum three sheets in this punch otherwise um, it won't go through. That's why it takes a little bit of time. Those are the discs on the right, all different colours, cheerful colours. You can get even bigger ones as well. That's the squared paper. That's the cartridge paper. I haven't written on the labels, as, on the uh, tabs of the dividers as well because I think my friend might like to do that herself. That's the coloured pages. We're nearly there. Heavier pages are much tougher to get through. I can only do one at a time of those. The same with the watercolour paper as well. It's too thick to put through more than one sheet at a time. That does slim me up a bit at the end. But it doesn't matter. It all gets done in the end. There we go. Now I'm doing the fun bit. I love this bit. Um, popping the discs on and then popping the papers in. It's always a little bit difficult for the first few sheets because the discs don't sit up. But once they're, they, you know, the few sheets are in, it stays. they stay up properly and then 
you just clip them in it's just good fun I'm sorry it's slightly um, out of shot there but you get the gist Looks so much faster when I'm watching it at high speed. <laughs> and now it's the writing pages, which is the uh, bulk of the book because she does want to do note taking, which is what an everyday book is. It's where you record things you've been reading. And there it is finished. I say finished, I decide to change my mind about the cover. That's all right, but I want something a bit more, I don't know, different, a bit livelier, I think. So here's the pages. She could write on the back of those. That's the pretty colour ones. Um, that's the cartridge, I think, of the mixed media. I'd have to feel it to be sure. And then that's the watercolour at the back. So I've changed the cover. I'm going to go for this one, which I'm going to trim down now to size. But before I attach it, I'm going to Put an eyelet in the top left hand corner so I can have some danglies. Nice little uh, pale, pale purple eyelet there. And then I'm going to add um, a tag. I'm going to add one of those little circles and I attach it, but then I decide to attach something else underneath it afterwards. I've got ink everywhere there. Now I'm going to add a tag and I'm adding my favourite um, uh, Scotland Story tapestry tag and I've got some ribbon that'll go in the eyelet. A bit of a struggle that was. But I managed to get uh, two pieces of ribbon through there. There it is. I don't know why I'm looking at that other sheet. I'll just trim the ribbon so it fits. And I add one of my giant paper clips. This is where I decide to pop something underneath the um, foam shape, flower shape there. So that's it finished. I hope she likes it and I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. Thank you for watching. Bye.